What's good guys, it's your girl Facts, hope you guys are well, hope you guys are having a blessed day, I hope you guys are having a blessed week, I hope you guys are staying safe because we ain't safe out here in these streets. Before we start with this video, please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit that notification button so you can be notified every time I post a video and y'all do not want to miss my videos, you really don't, you really don't, you really don't. It goes back again for another review, another commentary and today we're going to be talking about Mr. Diamond Platinum, yes Mr. Diamond Platinum. As you guys know, Diamond Platinum was in London. He was doing press tour for his new EP, first of all. If you guys know, you guys know that the EP is fire. It's amazing. And of course, he was doing press tour. He was doing, um, he had a listening party as well. And he has been doing a whole lot of interviews, including this one right here. He recently went on to the 90s Baby Show. If you guys know the 90s Baby Show, it's a podcast hosted by three black men, uh, Fred, Temi and VP in the cut and I'm telling you if you guys haven't watched the visuals to this you're missing out this conversation with Diamond Platinum was amazing oh so with the Andale and Zari situation what's that real uh because you know I'll tell you this like you do your parts they do their parts okay yeah so it's like at the end of the day when the show comes that's how you see oh so there were this going on Oh, you didn't even know. That's the that's the meaning of reality. Supposed to be. So I was watching him. I was like, okay, so Andile. <laughs> I was just. It was interesting. It was just like it was lit. Like when I tell you, this interview conversation with Diamond Platinum was a ten out of ten. Telling them like at the end when you said that this is my family. Yeah. I felt that. I was like, no, and it's the way his how family. I took Andile is like it's like my brother in 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 South Africa, like this is my home here. Felt like maybe we we cope a lot to me have this bond maybe but that actually told me something. Mm. Told me like you need to be very careful with your friends. Mm. Like they spoke on everything like and Diamond surprisingly opened up a whole lot like he opened up about his upbringing his relationship with his dad his relationship with the mother of his children his kids his daughters young famous and african he's come up on his journey of his career his early like you know the early starts of his career i'm not gonna lie i wasn't expecting all of that i thought he was just gonna come up on this podcast you know promote his ep and go about his business but oh no he actually sat there and had a two hour conversation and i just want to say big up tonight is baby show like a whole diamond platinum you know a whole diamond platinum listen i i commend you guys for that because it was amazing it was definitely amazing but anyways we need to talk about this part right here because baby diamond platinum had a whole lot to say about andile he had a whole lot to say about this whole situation with andile and what went down on the show one of the things that he confirmed that he confirmed that the show is real the everything that we saw on the show was real the storyline was real he was also asked whether or not the whole situation with Zari and Andy Le was real and he actually confirmed that it was real. He had no idea all of that was happening behind his back. Like, it was a shock to him. And one of the things that he said about the situation is that that whole situation made him realise and was a message that he needs to be careful with his friends. He needs to be careful who he calls a friend and he needs to basically watch out the people that he actually calls their friends. I was like, damn. I definitely felt him on that one. I definitely felt him on that one because, boy, some of you guys be using the word friend very loosely. Y'all gotta watch out who you call people your friends. You choose your friends wisely. And, you know, Dharma's whole thing is he looked at Andile as his brother, his homie. They had a strong bond, a, like a brother bond. And he would confide in him. He was confiding in him. He was you know, speaking to him about what he was going through these times. He was doing all of this madness behind his back. And I, could, I felt him on that one. I'm out here confiding in you and everything that I've got going on. And you're out here doing all of this madness behind his back. And he had no idea what was going on. And then you have the audacity to be showing up at my house. 
you know the house that my kids stay at and there's me thinking that you're coming to see me you're coming to surprise me but no oh no you're out here trying to be sleazy you're out here trying to move to my baby mom oh yeah you guys remember that whole situation and he was like he was shocked he was surprised and basically he was asked you know whether or not him and andila are still friends and he basically said that we need to watch out for season two I was like, oh damn, I just hope they don't fight over this. I don't I hope they don't scrap over this because it's really not worth it. Sometimes you just gotta look at people and be like, mm, okay. Now you guys let me know. Do you guys believe Diamond when he says that the show is real and the storyline is real? I, I honestly feel like it's real. I honestly feel like this ain't fake. And a lot of people really thought that his reaction was very calm. Well, of course he's gonna be calm. He's not about to just act out and start beating the man up on camera he's got a lot to lose let's just be real he can't be out here fighting people but another thing that i wanted to speak on this was just a small portion of the whole conversation the whole visual podcast was a two hour conversation and when i tell you this conversation right here made me see a different side to diamond because i feel like we only we always see we always see, you know, the superstar diamond, the musician diamond, diamond the artist, but we really don't get to see. Because at the end of the day, these these people are real people. They're human, you know, they have a story and diamond has a very interesting story. And, you know, if you are a fan of diamond, you guys know that diamond has come a very, very long way. And when he actually spoke on his journey as a musician, his come up and his, you know, his background, his relationship with his dad and you know growing up it was just so inspiring like no matter what you guys think about diamond like diamond is a hard working man and he works hard and he's very creative and you know he's he's just like guys when i tell you it was so inspiring his story was so 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 inspiring and i feel like a lot of people can relate to him you know it was just really inspiring man like i'm not even trying to hype you guys up i'm telling you this conversation was so inspiring to see it's probably one of the best interviews has ever done and just to see his growth is just so inspiring um but when he spoke about his dad and he spoke about his relationship with his dad and talking about at one point he just felt like he didn't like his dad and one of the guys in the podcast mentioned that you know the the relationship was perhaps transactional i felt it I actually felt it like I could so relate to that like whew, my relationship with my real dad <laughs> transactional I would I would definitely say that we don't have a relationship anymore but when he said that I was like I could so relate to him like and I understand why he is the way he is and then when he spoke about his relationship with his daughters and like just you know the importance of being a father figure and being there for your kids and you know having relationship with his with the mothers of his children like bruh it was a lot i'm telling you diamond opened up i didn't expect him to open up like this guys but anyways guys let me know what your thoughts on this what do you guys make of this whole conversation if you guys haven't watched it please go ahead and watch it show some love and support what do you guys make of this whole conversation about his relationship his friendship with diamond are y'all here for this do you guys feel like and delay is in the wrong and he needs to apologize like he really needs to back off from that situation and yeah let me know what your thoughts i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you like share and subscribe and i shall see you on my next video bye